In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Christ is born. Glorify him. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 7 verses 1 through to 10. Now when he concluded all these things in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. And a certain centurion's servant who was dear to him was sick and ready to die. And when he had heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, pleading with him to come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they begged him earnestly, saying that the one for whom he should do this was deserving, for he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with them, and when he was already not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Therefore I did not even think myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man placed under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to one, Go, and he goes. And to another, Come, and he comes. And to my servant, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him, I say to you, I have not found such a great faith, not even in Israel. And those who were sent, returning to the house, found the servant well, who had been sick. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be faithful. Help us to have the faith like the centurion had. Faith. What is it? It is something that many of us strive for. It is a difficult thing to, to have. To believe in something that you cannot see or touch. Jesus Christ. For many of us, we have not seen him. What we know of him is written in a book by people we have never met. So how can we believe in this? All we see is writing on a page or whichever source of you use. Just words about this man who lived 2,000 years ago. who walked around in a country many of us have never been to. How can we have then faith in him? This man. Yes. It's a mystery. It's very difficult to have. Faith in something you don't see, you can't touch. But yet, it can be strong. 
In this reading today, of course, we read about this centurion, who in reality was a dictator, or you could probably say a conqueror, someone ruling over the people who were conquered, the Romans conquered the Jews. But this man, there was something special about him. Jesus didn't see him, didn't see the servant who was sick, close to death. But yet by the words that came out of the elders and the friends of the centurion was enough for him to believe that this centurion had a strong faith. So much so, he cured the servant, not even seeing the servant, but believing that this centurion had a very strong faith. Even that's mind-blowing when you think about it. How can you have faith in a person you haven't seen? You've only heard about. As the centurion heard about Jesus and what he was doing. Not seeing the man. Not talking to the man. Yet his faith was strong. He gave The centurion gave the examples about having... He was under authority from someone else. He had soldiers under him. He had servants under him. And all he had to do is say to do this, to do that, and they did it. So this faith, this centurion had, as Jesus commented, I have not seen such faith here in Israel as this centurion. So how strong is your faith? In Jesus Christ. In this person. But he's more than a person. He is the son of God. How can you have faith in God even? Think about it for a moment. What do you know about God? Have you seen him? Have you spoken to him? Have you touched him? No. So how can you have faith in this? Yeah. It makes you think, doesn't it? Faith. What is faith? Believing in something that you cannot see, cannot touch, cannot smell even. But for many of us, we do believe. We see miracles around us every day, but we don't see them. It happens. Yes. Sometimes we need to be hit over the head with a, what they used to say, as a 3 be 2 to wake us up. Some people near-death experiences, almost die, stamps them out of this crazy world that we live in, brings us back on the ground again. Where's your faith? Do you have faith in Jesus Christ? Do you have faith in his words and teachings? that you only see in a book or hear being read to you, preached to you. Faith. I urge you all 
to learn about Jesus Christ, to learn about the teachings of Jesus Christ. Read the scriptures. Pray. The Holy Spirit is with you. If you have been baptized, you have the Holy Spirit within you. He is there waiting for you. If you haven't been baptized, I urge you, to get baptized, go see a priest and get baptized. Practice your faith every day, believing in the things that you cannot see, cannot touch, cannot smell, cannot anything, other than believe that the word of God is true. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can go to the Father except by him. Every day. Thank God. Give him the glory for the blessings he has bestowed on you through the Holy Spirit, through the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and through him. God the Father. Glory to you, O God. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.